Welcome to lecture 4. In order to start using D3.js, we create a new index.html file which will contain our graphs. In the body of the document, you find now an element with ID graphs. In this element, we will append the graphs that we create. In the header part of the HTML, we include again two scripts. The first one is done for JS, and the second one, which used to be Plotly.js, is now D3.js. As you see, as before, we do not have to install or download D3.js, but can directly link to an online version. In the main.js file, we load our data. You can use the sample dataset, which is included in this project, or point to the strawberry field server. Once you get the data, we first clean it, following the method of the previous module. Finally, we store a reference to the element which will contain our graphs. If we now open the browser in our project, we will have an empty page where we'll start adding the graphs 